First of all, there's been enough discussion about the proposed and announced to have already been adopted new fees for daily and seasonal camping. But it all seems to have boiled down for seasonal camping only. That's all I've been hearing, and that's what's on your agenda. Anyway, after those two heated meetings that we had, the Camping Commission finally came up after they listened to us. And I know they had a rough job because I wouldn't have wanted it. If I were not a camper, I wouldn't want to be serving on a committee like that to begin with. Now, if there were a hospital, let's just assume a hospital was having a certain program that they were going to discuss, but they needed so many people on a commission to make those decisions. Do you think they would make that commission and not put one, not one person from the medical profession? Now, I know for a fact there were some campers who turned in the request, whatever, to be on that committee that I suppose you people appointed. Not one camper, not one camper was put on it. Had one camper had been put on it, there might have been a little bit more rational discussions and so forth than what they came up with. Uh, I know they're business people, but again, special business people. Now, if this continues as I think you're headed in that direction, you're going to have an end to camp on, campground for one thing. If after those groups who are grandfathered in, if after they are grandfathered in, I don't think they're going to come back as a group. I do not believe they will. I know something else for a fact, too. Some of them have already been looking elsewhere for when the grandfathered period is over. And I don't believe that some of you on this council realize the economic impact you will have with your decision. <coughs> all of the grocery stores, the gas stations, and all of the, everybody in this town who is in business, almost everybody, restaurants and all, are turning in money to the city. And the amounts of money that have been turned in the Fiddler's Convention, for example, Fiddler's Convention, the last five years has turned in over $32,000. And I'll bet with nothing fancy ha having turned in $12,500 last year, I'll bet they turned in $60,000 over the past five years. I don't know if any of that money goes to the park. I don't know where it goes. I don't know how you deal with your money because I never read anything or see anything about that. And have any of you, I just wonder, if anyone on the city council or anyone on that camping commission, if a single person has been over to check to see how many campers are over there, take a trip over there when the meeting's over, you won't see one. Head on over to Lexington, to Walmart, you'll probably see two or three. Walmart's become a favorite for this area. If, unless these rates are changed, and from what people have told me, unless they are brought down to 200, there won't be campers over there. I don't know what the, I guess the daily rates were what were uh, listed at first. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But for the seasonal rates, if they aren't brought down to 200, I think you might as well just look elsewhere, go out and find somebody to come in there because none of those seasonal campers that I've talked with, I talked to one, well, I will take that back. I talked to one who said he might go to 225. Beyond that, forget <coughs> it. He'll go somewhere else and camp or he'll sell his camper. 